Annie Judinson of Joe Millionaire said she was shocked that Stephen the Millionaire did not choose her, although she did not need any closure after the show. I truly was shocked. I was so surprised that Stephen didn't choose me at the end. Hey royalties, kings and queens, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl royalty and I'm back with another exclusive juicy scoop from Joe Millionaire after the manor. Annie, who was not chosen by Stephen McBee from the finale of Joe Millionaire in a recent interview talked about how she had felt watching the whole season backwards. When asked about Stephen and Carla's connection, she said it was a shock for her when Martin let them know that both her and Carla was for Steven and then Amanda and Carolyn was for Kurt because the whole time Kala was indecisive between Kurt and Steven and she felt Kala was turning towards Kurt that at the moment Martin mentioned it was the first time she would know Kala was having a connection with Steven. When asked about what the girl's thoughts were about who the millionaire is during the show, she said pretty much at the beginning of the show, it was split 50-50 among the ladies. Some thought it was Kurt, some thought it was Steven. We were split and I felt like all of us were changing our minds every day based on something that one said or something that one did. Um, but when it came down, I would say it was, it was honestly after hometowns that we all pretty much knew it was Steven because I mean, production did, did their best effort, but there's only so much that they can hide <laughs> taking us to their actual homes. Um, but I think when it was like the 10, I think, yeah, I mean, I feel like most of us really just felt like it was Steven. Yeah, and that's just making me wonder, like, could it be from what Annie's saying that Carla realized that Steven was the millionaire at that point and knew she was going to pitch her tent around Steven? Like, I'm just saying, because she pretty much had a good connection with Kurt's mom at Kurt's hometown. She, the family pretty much liked Kala, but after visiting Steven at his hometown, she knew what she had with Kurt was more like friendship. I'm just saying. She was also asked if she had won and was chosen by Stephen if she would have moved to Missouri. She said she could see herself visiting for a week or even a weekend but not leave forever. That she and Stephen had talked about settling in Kansas City, a city much smaller than New York but bigger than Stephen's city in Missouri but she could never see herself living there forever. What Annie said makes a lot of sense because already we see Steven and Kala, you know, buying their property, I think their second property in Kansas City. So if she's saying Steven told her that they could set to there, it's making a lot of sense because that's already what he is doing with Kala. Kala and Steven on the other hand have been living their best life. Kala had a party over the weekend in Dallas. They've been living their best life and they are sure moving into their house in Kansas City. I truly was shocked. I was so surprised that Steven didn't choose me at the end. And so I was really looking forward to watching the season back to see Kala and Steven build their connection over the episodes. And obviously we didn't get that. And so like finding closure has been an interesting experience and I got there for sure, but I was hopeful that it would have made more sense to me watching the season back and it just didn't. She said she was shocked that he didn't pick her and she was 99% sure he was going to choose her. So she had no doubt for a second when she walked to meet him at that very last moment that she was going to be living with him. The relationship and the connection that she had with Steven was what it was. I was also expecting to see the connection that Steven had with Kala and it was not given as she would have expected. I was hopeful that it would have made more sense to me watching the season back and it just didn't. So she was as surprised as everybody is and she has since moved on since the show ended a couple of months ago, five months ago. I was anticipating the edit that I got. I was anticipating people to assume that it, that would be the way that it was just because that's truly, at least from my perspective, that's the way the show played out when we were filming. I mean, I got down to it. And like I said, I was like 99% sure that he was going to choose me. And when he didn't, I was absolutely shocked. About being rejected by Steven, she said at the moment where he turned her down, she had no idea he was going to do that. She did so he was nervous, but she didn't realize that he was nervous because he was going to turn her down. 
but she thought it was just the normal nervousness that comes with you know getting committed in a new relationship but watching it back she could definitely see that he was about to turn her down and that she and Steven has not been in contact after that last moment from the finale except when he sent her a DM right before the finale aired. So I actually got a DM from Steven right before the episode aired, right before the finale um, yesterday. And it was a really nice message just saying, you know, it was a good experience, like out of respect of my relationship now, just like letting you know that what I said and what I did, I felt was real, but you know, wish you the best. And it was a very sweet message. It was really nice that he reached out, but that, that's been it. And that has been Steven's only direct message to her except him responding to stories that he was tagged annie is doing pretty much well she said she doesn't regret anything she enjoyed the whole experience and she definitely would love to do some other kind of reality show if the opportunity comes knocking at her door she would definitely welcome it and then when asked about what she thought about kurt and Amanda and Kurt's connection on the show. She said she saw Kurt build two relationships. Honestly, she saw Kurt had a connection with Caroline that was passionate, that was deep and in turns. And then she also saw a relationship with Amanda that was light, that was happy and fun. But she honestly thought he would pick Caroline, but with Amanda, she was not surprised as well. Poor Annie has since moved on from that experience. It's sad to see that she was very sure she was going to be the one at the end, but she wasn't the one. Although there were rumors sparkling that she probably had something to do with Bachelor Tyler Cameron, but she debunked it that it was nothing. She only met him at a bar and they chat for like five minutes and that was it. And she has never heard from him or seen him since after that time. We wish Annie all the best and that's pretty much it guys to share your talk with me in the comment section what do you think about what Annie has had to say about Steven and Kala's connection and that she was very sure 99% that she was going to be the one pick to share your thoughts and don't forget to like share subscribe and I will see you all on the next one bye bye yeah. you think you want to try and pull it off we can try there you go Pull the blindfold off. Shut up. <laughs>